YouTube was cracking. Hey, man. So y'all probably like, what in the world am I wearing? Hey, all I got to say is what I'm about to talk about in this video, man. This ain't for everybody to know. This is top secret information, bro. So y'all got to understand, bro. I got to be top secret with it. You feel me? Now, I could have made a regular video where I just commentate over it. Shoot, I might actually do that. You know what I'm saying? We might just have to do that, bro. But nah, we just going to keep it how it is because I just want to interact with y'all boys. But look, y'all been showing... Y'all been showing a lot of support on the other videos that I made. Kind of exposing a little little bit here and there. I don't know. But y'all might like this content. So, I'm back with another video, bruh. This is part two of exposing the opium label. Now, the opium label, they already going through some crazy stuff. Legally. You feel me? With a lot of their members, like Beano and them. But... Let's talk about the stuff that people don't know. The people, the, the stuff that people don't know that led to opium becoming so big as it, well, I mean, it's still on the come up, but you know what I mean. Basically, y'all, I'm about to expose these sacrifices, bruh. These things that these, these artists had to do to make it to get to the, the point where they at, bruh. That's just how it is. But, you know, I'll explain more later, bruh. So here we got... Destroy Lonely, Never Ever, Fake N-Words. This is his uh, newest music video. He just dropped it like yesterday, a couple hours actually ago. And I discovered something in this video, bro. I was like, ah, I gotcha. Something is not right here, okay? Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I got it. Whenever I watch an artist's music videos, especially a dude that like wears upside down crosses, like Uzi, Trippy. Or, I don't know, Playboy Cardi. I gotta analyze the video, bruh. Because y'all don't understand, like, these music videos, bruh, they either be telling a story or they just be flexing. This this one is a very interesting video, bruh. He's just out in the snow. You could just be like, oh, he's just, you know, he's just showing, like, yada, 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 his aesthetic. But towards the end of the video, there's something very disturbing, bruh. So we gonna get right into it, okay? Now, a disclaimer, bruh, I make these videos just to let y'all know what I know about the music industry as far as what these artists represent and what they do, you know, and their impact on the fans. But if you still want to listen to these artists, if you still want to support these artists, that's all up to your judgment, bro. I'm just trying to put out what I know and the information that I know about stuff like this. And I was trying to show y'all, boys, and let y'all know. Because, I don't know, maybe y'all is Christian. Maybe y'all believe in God, Jesus Christ. And y'all don't know that these artists are very, very wicked and very, very misleading. But that's where I come in, man. So let's get into it, bro. Destroy Lonely, Never Ever. So the video starts out pretty, you know, regular. He's just in the snow Alps, you know. Pretty good. It's a pretty good video. Pretty shot well. We not we're not here to react to the music. We already heard the song, but like the video starts out pretty well, pretty like concise. You know what I'm saying? He he in a, um he in that cold weather. You feel me? He in that cold weather. But look, things get a little bit weirder towards the end of this video. So let's let's watch that real quick. Y'all, Pete, man, man's got four. One, two, three, four. He might even have another one. I can't really see it. Upside down crosses. Now, there's a lot of, uh, I don't know how to call it, bro, but there's a lot of, like, misconceptions when it comes to the upside down cross. A lot of people say, oh, it's the St. Peter's cross because St. Peter was crucified upside down because he wasn't worthy of the same death as Jesus Christ. But do you really think Destroy Lonely is a St. Peter's fan? Do you really think, like, he got four or five upside-down crosses, bruh? They all iced out. I mean, Cardi got some upside-down crosses. Ken Carson got some upside-down crosses. Lil Uzi Vert got some upside-down crosses. You feel me? Trippy Red might. I don't know. 
do you really think these guys are all like St. Peter's fans? They just love St. Peter? Or is this a symbol for Antichrist? Is this a symbol for the devil? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know, man. Because, hey, some people love to say, oh, the upside down cross isn't bad. This is the problem with a lot of y'all, bro. Like, y'all will see evil right in front of your face. But you'll still be like, nah, that's not evil. That That's just regular. This is this is not normal, bro. Why do you have five upside down cross chains on your, on your neck, bro? One was bad enough. But you got like four or five, bro. Come on, dog. And don't even get me started. He had, like, I saw a video on TikTok, bro. He was getting a haircut. He had an upside down cross on his head, bro. Like, the lineup was like a, hey, man. Now this part of the uh this part of the video kind of like confused me a little bit. This man, he starts to see something in the distance. Now I'm not I'm not I'm not even gonna break this down into what I believe it is. Y'all could y'all could think whatever y'all want, but I'm trying to tell y'all like these music videos is more than just a song, bruh. They wouldn't put so much money into a music video. Without having like some sort of story, some sort of underlying story, or something along those lines. I mean, it could also be just for promotion of the artist. But still, this scene, this scene definitely caught my eye a little bit. Like, long, destroy lonely, see some little black figure, you know what I'm saying? In the distance, he gotta rub his eyes. He got to rub his eyes, and then it, the dude just disappears. Hey, man, I'm not going to say what I think it is because y'all going to be laughing. I know y'all will. But all I got to say is, bro, hey, hey, yeah, something to think about. Anyway. Now, here it is, okay? This this is where we really see what the heck is going on. We got blood in the snow, bro. We got blood in the snow. Alright, let me chill. We got blood in the snow, bro. Like, like this part of the video is so weird. He's just walking up, bro. It's like a first person view. Look at all this blood in the snow, gang. And then look at this. Bro, Lonely is holding an axe, bro, with blood on it. There's blood in the snow, man. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but what I'm about to say is real, bro. When you get, when you trying to make it in the industry, bro, you gotta make sacrifices, bro. You got to make sacrifices. And like I said in the first video of the Opium series, sometimes you might have to give up that ass. You dig what I'm trying to say? You might just have to give up that ass. You dig? But if you're not down with that, then you might just have to give up somebody's life. Like a loved one, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be very like, like I'm not trying to tell y'all, but I'm trying to tell y'all. You feel me? Now, why are sacrifices so important? It all goes back to the Bible, bro. People was making sacrifices since the beginning of time, bro. And the biggest sacrifice of them all was Jesus Christ. Like, y'all don't even know. I'm telling y'all. This is why y'all got to read y'all Bible, bro. Like, even in the Bible, bro, people, the the early the early believers in God, the early followers of the, the one true God, um... They used to have to make animal sacrifices for their sins, bro. They used to have to make sacrifices. But them sacrifice, like, people would probably have to sacrifice, like, a thousand animals in one day because of all the sins they were committing, bro. You feel me? That's why Jesus had to come. And he, he washed away all the sins because he was the perfect sacrifice. You feel what I'm trying to say? 
But Satan, Satan can't do that, bruh. Satan cannot do that. So he still has people sacrificing whatever, animals, people, babies, anything, bro. And this man alone, I'm, I'm just going to suspect, bro, he to get to the point where he's at, bro. I mean, he's not super big, but to get to where he's at right now, he had to probably make a sacrifice. I don't think he did the gay stuff. I don't think he had to do that. But this is how they tell you what they did, bro. Either they 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 will be in a there, there'll be a music video where they'll be in a tub of blood. Y'all don't even know the bathtub blood ritual, which is like a inverted version of the the biblical uh baptism. They get baptized in blood. That just means that they made a sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? But this is how they tell y'all, bro. Like, why does he have an axe full of blood? Like, this is just so. So un like like where does this come from, bro? Like seriously, bro. This doesn't have anything to do with you dig, but hey, that's just my speculation. Now, let's move on though. Let's move on to Ken Carson. Now this is the teen X era, bro. Ken Carson run ran. You know what I'm saying? Ken Carson was kinda lit, bro. Like, come on, man. Hey yo. I like Kid Carson with the all blonde dress, bro. No cap. This is Team X, bro. We ain't run now, man. We ain't run now. You know what I'm saying? Look at how the video starts out, bro. Look at how the video starts out. It looks like a fun little time. Everybody enjoying their life. Everybody just, you know, partying. You feel me? Everybody having a good time. Somebody geeked out on the floor. See, everybody's smiling, like they laughing, they having a good old jolly time. We're gonna skip ahead though, because I don't want to really get copyrighted or whatever. Look, man, like they just having a fun time, you know. This is what Teen X represented just popping pills and you know, all that good stuff. Popping pills, doing X, all these other drugs. Look, man, like everybody, like they having a good little time, you know what I'm saying? Everybody just. He he got a dang he got a cocaine line. What the heck? You know what I'm saying? Look, what is this, y'all? What is this? Upside down cross. Hey man. Don't tell me that's no St. Peter cross, bruh. That's for Satan. And look, man, Ken Carson goes up the stairs. Where's he headed, bruh? He's headed to the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? He had to escape the bat. He had to escape the party. Look, bro. That boy a little geeked up. He walked it kind of slow. He looking in the mirror, right? You know what I'm saying? Things start to get a little bit weird. Like, why is the video getting all trippy? It's getting a little weird, right? Look, look, look. Look, bruh, this man turned on the water. That junk turned red. That junk turned to blood, bruh. This junk turned to blood. This is how they tell you their sacrifices, bruh. This is how they tell you what they did to get the fame, bruh. This is how they tell you, bro. Like, tell me I'm tripping. Like, y'all could tell me I'm tripping. Like, if y'all don't believe what I'm seeing, hey, it is what it is. But, like, how the heck does red water start coming out? Why does red water start coming out of the sink? And we're not done, though. We're not done with the video at all. Look, everything starts turning dark. Like, what is this? Everything starts turning dark. He come back downstairs. Look at that, bruh. Everything starts turning this demonic. Bruh. Y'all see this, bruh? Like, everything starts turning demonic, bruh. I know I'm not tripping. 
like y'all probably don't be thinking about this but like this is not just art bro this is telling a story in front of your eyes all right we gonna skip ahead a little bit but like bro like you see all this like look at this they was having a good little time in the beginning look at this bro what is this He's having a good little time in the beginning, then everything starts turning. Everything starts turning demonic, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't no game, bro. Look at this. What is that? What the heck is that, bro? Bro. Like, y'all cannot look at this, bruh. What is that? All right, I'm going to tell y'all what I personally think, man. Like, Kent Carson, bruh. I'm going to let this dude explain it right here, bro. And since y'all don't believe me, I'm going to let this guy right here explain it. Truth, Bob. Everybody. Now, this guy, his name is Smart. And he basically went viral, like, maybe back in, like, 2021 for exposing, like, the industry, kind of. Like, he he, expo he exposed that, like, these rappers have to do, like, gay stuff or whatever for, you know, these, these big placements in the industry to make it up in the ranks. This is what he had to say, I think, recently. But let's get into it, man. Since y'all don't want to believe me, I hope y'all believe this guy because he's been in the industry. I mean, he's, hey. Watching this, go back industry. and watch the math Hawk interview. Mm -hmm. I I I, I kind of like broke it down, mm -hmm. and math was trying to get me to say the names and shit like like really yeah. say niggas' names. I'm like, I ain't gonna I ain't gotta do that because I don't want to fuck brothers' lives up like that. Yeah. But I say this: the music business is ran by the devil, mm -hmm. so the music business is only designed to get as many people to go away from God as possible. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, the devil needs workers, and by workers. He needs people who have influence, who can mislead or misguide people away from the light into the darkness. Mm -hmm. So this is why the artist is powerful. So the artist is the mouthpiece, okay? The mm -hmm. artist is the mouthpiece between the devil and the fan. Mm -hmm. And the artist's job is to get you to throw up these weird signs. Mm -hmm. What are you doing this for? This is the bottom, man. I don't fuck with this. So don't think I'm throwing this up because I, I don't fuck with this. Mm -hmm. I'm just showing you when you see these signs. When you see the checkerboards, when you hear them talking about demon time and drill and kill and all this shit, mm -hmm. even the actual beat and the BPM, it's all 808 drums. This is all low vibrational shit. Mm -hmm. So what happens is the artist is only the tool used to push the message of the devil. Mm -hmm. It's a spiritual war. So what happens is in order for that artist to be in position to even mis get, mislead the people, they have to be worthy. This is hazing. This is the... There we go right there. They they can't just be the you they can't just be used by the devil, bro. They gotta give up a sacrifice. This is where the sacrifices come in, bro. So, like I said, I did a lot of research back in like 2020 when like, you know what I'm saying, my whole spiritual awakening or whatever. But like, bro, there's at least there's at least I know there's only two things that really two doors that you could go in as a music artist, entertainer athlete or even like a politician or something bro there's only like two doors bro you could either make like you could either sacrifice people bro sacrifice babies your family something bro kill you like giving up somebody's life so you can get success is really a way to do it and the reason why is because bro that's the way that the demons get like bro you know how demon like that's demonic bro the fact that you want to kill somebody or give somebody's life up to gain success from that, that's demonic, bro. How could you sleep at night? That's demonic. That's seriously demonic, bro. Someone's blood is spilling. And that's one of the ways that the spiritual realm, if y'all believe in that stuff, which y'all should, that's how the spiritual realm is activated, bro. When there's blood on the floor, when there's blood spilled, bro. Like, a life is taken, bro. That soul is gone, bro. The demons, you know what I'm saying? The blood, I don't really know how to explain it to y'all. But the blood is important, bro. Like, so I heard someone say the, the, the soul is pretty much the blood. 
Because without blood in your body, bro, you can't live. You dead. You dead. <laughs> so blood is kind of like your soul, bro. So that's why some of these artists have to sign their name in blood when they make these contracts, bro. Y'all don't understand why, like, sacrifices are so important in the music industry, bro. Or in, like, entertainment or whatever industry, bro. Now, the second way is doing the gay stuff. Bro, you know how the fact that you are willing to do, like, you're, you're going to go against your morals, which is selling your soul. That's the definition of selling your soul. You're going to go against your heterosexual morals to gain fame. You're going to take it up the, yeah. To gain fame, that is selling your soul, bro. You can't sleep at night, bro. Tell me if you can sleep at night knowing that you you got ran through by a couple a couple men, bro. You know what I'm saying? Then you just might be the devil himself, bro. Cause I know me personally, I could never do that, bro. So when you do these two things to gain fame, bro, you can't sleep. You open yourself up demonically, bro. That's why you know they say you sold your soul because, bro, like at that point. You either gave up somebody's life for your success, which is evil as hell, or you did some weird, fruity, f like freaky stuff to gain fame and gain people's favor, which is even more like, well, not even more, but it's pretty much the same kind of like weird demonic type of activity, bro. Like the fact that you're willing to do that is weird to me because that means you value that stuff. More than your dang morals. That means you want to be famous and rich and whatever so bad, bro. Some of y'all might be like that. Hey, it is what it is. But it's like, bro, that junk is demonic. And you don't just get ran through by men one time, bro. You get it, like, multiple times. You got to keep going, bro. So over time, like, whether y'all believe it or not, like, a lot of people in the LG, yeah, yeah, community, bro, that they're demonic. There's a reason why, bro, they don't like hearing anything about Christianity or nothing, bro. Like, they're very anti-God, bro. There's a reason why. Because God says it in the Bible, bro. Like, homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God. And it's not just because they're homosexual. It's because it's backwards, bro. It is not bringing forth life. Homosexuality does not bring forth life, bro. If everybody was gay today, bro, there would be no more life. There would be no more life. And if y'all read the Bible, bro, Satan just wants to kill steal and destroy bro that's all satan does bro so basically turning everybody gay and that's why i told y'all in that video about tana bro this is why the gay agenda is so pushed because it's like bro if the world if they could try to get everybody to turn gay bro over time the the, the population is going to increase uh, decrease so it's like bro satan is being worshipped when y'all boys give into that that fruity stuff bro not give in but when y'all like entertain it or even turn gay. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't want to get into it, but bro. Y'all hearing what this man smart is saying, bro. You got to get in position. And there's a couple ways you can do that. And he just named them pretty much. Hazing aspect of it. So when you look at colleges, you look at fraternities, you have to be hazed in order to get in, to, to pledge, to be a pledge. A in, order to, in order to climb the ladder in the music industry, you have to be hazed. And when you're getting hazed, you're getting fucked in your ass. So you think, you say saying? like basically this the, homosexual ritual, the, the I'm saying. The higher they get is more hazing they gotta Yes, do. because it's more, it's, it's more, you gotta, people listen. Truth. Now, I don't know where the rest of the video is, but bruh, like, if y'all don't believe me, and y'all don't believe him, I don't know what else to tell you, bruh. It is what it is, though. Like, there's so many more videos that expose this junk. And it's just very obvious. But it's, if y'all want one last piece of, like, evidence, bruh, I'm gonna go to this one right here, bruh. What was it called? Lil Uzi, uh... Dang, I can't remember. Dang, I'm gonna just look up Lil Uzi. I can't remember, bruh. It's got to be here, bro. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Are you serious, bro? Hey, bro. I'm making this video with no cuts. Y'all got to understand, man. This is so dumb. I forgot the name of that song, bro. Oh, here it is. EXO Tour Life. In this video, bro, y'all going to see. I'm making this video no cuts, bro. I'm sorry. Hey, let me know if I should stream. I might just stream with y'all, bro. This is like a... A pre-stream type of video. 
But yeah, bro. Exo Tour Life, man. This video was very demonic, bro. But again, like, this is revealing what this man had to do for that fame, bro. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. You got the weekend throwing up the Illuminati eyes. You feel me? You got Virgil Abloh. You know what I'm saying? And look, he's in the bathtub, bro. I can show y'all, man. This is a bathtub ritual, bro. I might as well, like, I might go on incognito type. Nah, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's log into this one, bro. Cause you know, hey, bro, Google be Google be spying, bro. <laughs> Google be spying, bro. So I'll use a different account. That's something else y'all should know, man. Like this world is so crazy, bro. But look, I don't know, man. Hollywood, they probably not gonna bring it up. They not gonna bring it up, bro. Hollywood satanic rituals. Uh, that's not what it, really what I'm trying to do, man. It, it's a lot, bro. Y'all just got to really do y'all research. I, I can't really find it, bro. This is on TikTok, bro. But there's like a bathtub ritual, bro. Like, y'all got to, like, ah, oh, man. I wish I could get it. I don't want to, like, make this video too damn long, bro. It's just a lot. It's a lot, bro. It's really a lot. Y'all got to do y'all research. If y'all want me to make another video, I might. But there's a lot of stuff, bro. Like, there's a lot. But anyways, y'all see him in the bathtub, bro. And then we're going to skip a little bit. Like, yeah, bro. He's in the bathtub. It's really, like, creepy. What the hell is that? That's some weird stuff, man. But look. Look, bro, he's covered in the blood, man. He got the he got the upside down crosses, bro. Like nothing is new, bro. This was 20 Look, I disliked it, bro. <laughs> this is 2017. Five years ago, man. Almost six years ago. Bro, nothing has changed. They still got upside down crosses, bro. Like, bro, like, I don't know what to tell y'all, man. And look, he's looking in the mirror, just like Ken Carson was. He got the upside down crosses all on his chain, bro. And he's got the blood all on him, bro. He's got all that blood on him, bro. That means he made a sacrifice. That means he made a sacrifice, bro. Like, seriously, y'all don't understand. This junk is real, bro. Now, not all of these videos are going to make it that obvious. Sometimes they just might, they might be wearing all red. Like, their whole fit might just be all red. That means they made a sacrifice, bro. But like I said, though, this is just a little video, a little short video I wanted to tell y'all, man. Part two of exposing some of this stuff. Like, hey, I want y'all to know this stuff because it's like, bro, like, a lot of people don't know this stuff. They're, like, looking at this Destroy Lonely video, and they're like, oh, my gosh, Destroy Lonely is so good. That man is the best rapper ever. Long, lo and behold, no pun intended. Lo and behold, this man just killed somebody to make it to make it big, bro. He ha he had somebody killed. The blood was shed, and he got big and famous off of that man's life, that person's life. Hey, bro. It is what it is, man. If y'all don't believe me, 
I don't know what to tell y'all. I could go into more detail, though. More videos on the way. I'm telling y'all, more videos on the way, man. If y'all enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'm out, man. Peace.